Hello there, glad to have you back. This is part two of the 2.1 Excel tutorial. And this time, let's see what we're going to do. We are going to construct a side-by-side -side relative frequency bar graph. Cool. Alrighty then. So how do you do that? Well, you take the relative frequency distributions that you just made, and you can highlight them, including the labels over here on the left. That's not going to hurt you. So you highlight all of that, and you go to Insert, select column and you want to pick this top left one that's the only one we're ever going to take so choose that one and looky there isn't that great it's pretty much exactly what we want um, there's just a little bit cleaning up to do first of all I don't really like this whole relative frequency for males and females that's such a long word so I'm going to go back here and change this I'm just going to type males and oops you can't see that I tabbed but you can't see it. So let me click on that cell and type females. Enter. And when I do that, let me show you the graph, it automatically changes it so it's not so cumbersome. So that's better. This is one of the few times we're actually going to leave the legend alone. Most of the time we just get rid of it. And then because we highlighted the categories over here, it automatically knows this. And you can see over here on the left it's decimals. This is great. Now we just want to add some titles here. So if you click on the layout tab. Up here there's chart title. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click above chart. Um, by the way, the layout title doesn't exist all the time. Um, if you click outside of the graph, it disappears. Look, it's gone. And you click inside the graph, it's back. All three of these are chart tools. They only exist if you've clicked on the chart. You can see I've clicked on it because it's in a light blue kind of thing. All right, so let me double click up here. I'm going to highlight that chart title and I'm going to change it to relative frequency side by side bar graph of what was this of? Um, gender and murder victims. Age, gender, and murder victims. Okay. Age and, and gender for murder victims. Boy, there's a cheery thought. Oopsie, I've gone too far. Alright, don't worry about it getting these getting mushed down. That's okay. You can always drag and make it bigger, or you could change it. Um, we don't have to really say relative frequency side by side bar graph if you don't want to. Right? We know what it is. So click. There you go. I mean, the title's kind of up to you. I want to leave the legend up. I would like some. some type of information over here like percent. So let me go to axis title and that's the vertical axis. I particularly like the rotated display but you can put whatever you like. And If you just start typing it'll automatically know where you want to type it. It's relative frequency or you can type percent that's another one. Um, if you want a horizontal axis label you can click on that and type title below and you can say age of murder victims. Great. Now, one last thing before I leave this and head on to the next problem. I want to talk a bit about why we use relative frequencies for side-by-side -side graphs. For a side-by-side -side graph, one where something like males and females are being compared here, you would never use whole numbers. You would only use decimals. Now let me show you why. For example, look at 17 to 24. All right, 17 here for the males is very large, and 17 for the females is very small. But the problem is that you can't compare raw numbers. 17, excuse me, males are always larger than females for every one of these categories. Look at 35 to 54. That's bigger. 2977 is bigger than 1102. But if you look at their percentages, aha, look right there. 35 to 54 is actually a larger percentage-wise for women than it is for men. But you can't see that here looking at the raw numbers because there's 11,000 male victims and only 3,000 female victims. So that's why for a side-by-side -side bar graph you always choose relative frequency. Always use the decimals. Alrighty then, we're done with 2.1 number 23. Next time we'll move on to 2.1 number 27.